Greetings and welcome to Sword Planetary Space Program episode 21 and we are approaching Joule. This is the first piece of equipment to arrive to Joule. It is the combined tanker and uh, station hub. Uh, well, the tanker is station core almost. So we're gonna do an error breaking or well error capture in the Jules, in Jules atmosphere because we want to save fuel for later in the mission. We only already used quite a lot. So I use a error breaking calculator, a web tool, and the maneuver nodes to get this just right. And then I do this burn, which doesn't take that long time once you get the engines throttled up. So we're doing an aero capture around Joule, and as always when doing aero braking maneuvers, it's important to, to get your periapsis right. So check your calculator before doing this, or quick save. I quick save too. No, no shame in that. Uh, but on Joule especially, you have to be more careful because the atmosphere is so dense, it's like soup. And while we wait for the first ship to get down to periaps, we have our second ship, the lander and its tanker, coming in, approaching the encounter. So we're gonna set this up ahead of time to save even more fuel. And uh, we had a lathe encounter in the projections, so I'm going to change uh, my orbit until I have that, that lathe encounter, because lathe is our destination. So we'll see how that pans out when we get there, but now at least we have a pretty low periapsis on that one. So back to our original ship, the tanker and hub. It's now on this orbit and uh, as I said, you check your calculator. So we're going to make sure this one is just right, just trimming it with the RCS system because the engines are too powerful and burning them just as, uh, as short amount of time as you can makes too big an adjustment. So I put a maneuver note to see time till periaps. I'm not going to do any maneuvering. There's Jewel, the green gem of the Kerbal system. Fun fact, Jewel in the game is slightly smaller than Earth in real life. So we're coming into the uh, the entry in the atmosphere and as you see the, the re-entry flames start almost immediately. As I said, because the atmosphere is very dense, and uh, you you saw probably that I forgot to fold the solar panels up. Fortunately, they did not break off. That's that's good. I'm not really supposed to have them out while while this is in ship mode. Therefore, when it's a station, but I needed the power, so yeah. And we are done with the uh, atmospheric stuff. So we are almost out of the atmosphere, and there's late. This couldn't have been timed better if I got to plant it myself. This was pure luck that late is in this very favorable position. It is exactly where it should be. So I just do a little, little maneuver to get another aero breaking around late, or rather another aero capture. This, it's a uh, it's rare that you get to do two consecutive aero captures after each other. But, you know, yeah, with the gas giants, it could be done. So we are on our way to Leith, and we're just gonna do a correction here to get us on the right track. And as you see, the uh, two two of my engines are running low on fuel, and they did run out during this maneuver, making it take a very long time. With two nuclear engines pushing this rather large spacecraft, the first to weight ratio is low, so to speak. But I didn't I don't want to transfer fuel over to them because, you know, I already stolen some of the fuel that's intended as a fuel reserve. That's why we're building the station to begin with. So a final trimming of our periapsis and getting our inclination a bit more correct. It's hard to see what the equatorial plane of late would be, but we estimate it. And now I ditch this stage we have sitting on our nose. Uh, 
I remember keeping it for some reason or another, but I cannot remember what that reason would be. As you, right now it just seems like extra mass. Didn't even need it. And apparently it's a probe, because it has a probe core on it. So I'm guessing we'll deal with that later. And this time, I remember to fold up the solar panels before atmospheric entry. So, we are now aero braking on late and you know, the ship of course spins out of control. It, there's just, just no way to control it during during entry because yeah, the aerodynamic forces are overwhelming. So we have capture and right now it looks like we're maybe going too low. Too intensive aero braking. Dual set, that's nice. And uh, still not sure, we have a very low apoapsis, but our periapsis is, well, now we don't have a periapsis, we are suborbital arc, technically. But we did get our apoapsis down to ooh, a very, very nice and low height, so we should just need to circularize this. Well, the sun is really small from out here. Good thing we have those extra solar panels. Yeah, so we're just gonna circularize this orbit and we should be done. Well, we should be on a stable orbit uh, on our destination. And after this 70 something meter per second burn, using only two engines as you see, we should be good to go with assembly of the station. You know, we kind of missed apoapsis there, we're going to make this orbit nice and circular because this is going to be a destination orbit for other crafts, so it's important to keep it tidy. And there we go, look at that, nice. Let's go ahead with the initial assembly, we're gonna take the hub and we're gonna turn it 90 degrees to make it more accessible and more space station like. Let's be honest. And I found this was easiest if you rotate the hub and then you move the rest of the station, i.e. the tanker, up to the hub. Because the hub can rotate on its own. Look, you will, you will rise. That's, that's beautiful. The hub can rotate on its own without problem, but it can't do translation very well. So, solar panels deployed. We are done. We have our space station. It's the Delta station. So let's just take a look at this. This is a legit space station around Lathe, something that I have not seen a lot of times, but I have seen it. Well, we're not done with the station, we're gonna add a lot more parts. First thing is this thing, which we just did our correction for. So this is the lander and tanker, and here we have to make a decision. Are we gonna air capture around Jewel or Lathe, do a Lathe encounter? I decided to go with Lathe, because I haven't tried that before. So we're gonna set this encounter up. It's a very, very slow maneuver node. So we just very gently push us into this. And before we get there, we're going to have to do the Duna business. So that's going to be our next episode. We're gonna take care of the rest of the things we need to do at Duna. And uh, I will see you there. Bye!